Hey y'all, it's Andrea. Welcome back to VW Family Farm. And I wanna tell you guys some exciting things and offer you some things. And I wanna give you some good tips for your plants and everything now that summer's in full swing and it's hot. So let's start with, we have new merch. I'm so excited. We actually went to the Oki Homesteading Festival and took some merch with us. We had a lot made up for that. And we have some that we wanna to offer to you guys. I got enough so that we would have extras so we could offer them on here. So we have two shirts. I'm gonna put pictures in here of those. So the first one you can see is, it says no farms, no food. It's got like a farm, cows, and then those, those are like feeding silos and all kinds of things in the back. Uh, I love that one. We had them printed locally. I have them in hand. They're not something that's gonna be printed and on demand or like when you buy them. I have them now, so I can mail them out like the next day if you order them. And then we also did another one. So that is our new logo shirt. It's super soft and comfy and it's got, as you can see, it's got the logo in the pocket area on the front. It's got it bigger on the back. Really, really like those. Both of them, we've had guys and girls buying both of them. So they're both very unisex. Um, and then I also wanna show you locally at another local business, we had some leather patch hats made. We got two different colors. So I wanna show you guys those. We all kept one of each of those because I love them both. They're both look good with different outfits. I really, really like them. We've also got another one coming. I'll show you guys that later. I don't have it in hand. It's called a Heather Red. Um, you saw me wear this like light reddish hat for ever on videos. It's similar to that, but a little more structured on top. But when I get that one, I'll show that one to you guys. These are our hats from last time. These are embroidered hats and they're what we have left. I wanted to just show you guys these and these are on the website and all of this stuff is first come first serve. The logo shirts are medium, large, extra large and 2X. The no farms, no food are medium, large and extra large. And then there's a limited number of the leather patch hats and there's a very limited number of these hats. So I wanna show you the different hats. These are unstructured. These are for guys or girls, but I really love these. Y'all see me wear these all the time. There's a couple white. I wear this one literally once a week. Love this hat. There is literally one of these. This is a fitted hat, but it's very forgiving. It's really flexible and comfortable. Uh, we had people buy this one at the Homesteading Expo. All different sizes of heads can wear this hat. We got a couple of the solid black. These look really nice. These are the fitted as well. It's like a flex fit, so it's not like if your head is one inch over or under, it's not gonna fit, it's not like that. It's more of, it's more flexible. It's kind of a one size fits all fitted hat. And then these are also fitted and make sure they're all fitted, they are. So there is three of these. These are black with the white on the back. So that's what we have of these. All of this is on our website, vwfamilyfarm.com. There's a link below to that, but let's get into the video. Don't throw it right over the end. Throw it more in the middle because we're going to want to pull that to the middle. <laughs> go. Oh, I'm on your line. It was out of my foot. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that was pulling on me. It worked though. It got it over. Okay, so y'all say we'll pull on them. When you're pulling on them, I can have the string coming about right here. You on that one? And I'm gonna sit over and unroll it though, nice and pretty. And watch for ant hills. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. All right, it's probably good. Yeah. Beautiful. We are putting the shade cloths on today. We're putting one on this greenhouse. This is our greenhouse that has our hydroponic system. And we're also gonna go to the back and put a new one on our new high tunnel. So why we're doing this is because if you've ever seen people put up shade cloths just on poles, you know, over their garden plants, this is the same concept. This is just a greenhouse. And it's doing just what it said. It's gonna provide some shade. It's gonna provide some shelter. It should make the plants use less energy and water because they're gonna get some shade. Ooh, that stuff would be up. So on this shade cloth and greenhouse, we go all the way to the ground. I could put it in the wiggle wire, but I've just made up some little blocks. These are clips that you can buy to clip over this two piece and then screw straight through that into the board.
so while this is not much to look at in here you can see the lemon tree is alive we've got it all up and working again you can hear the water running the fan going everything's working in here again this kind of got neglected this was thriving and then it kind of got just put by the wayside and i just want to be honest with you guys on here those things happen i know they happen in our life and they happen in yours but this shade cloth is going to help us get some things growing in these beds and it not get so hot in here because the sun is literally just beating down i can already feel a difference and the thing's been on there about five minutes So this next one is much bigger. We're gonna see how this goes. It's brand new. We got this from Grower Solution. They had the shade cloth we were looking for and we need a rather large one. Um, and this one actually came on a freight truck. I, I just now put it on the back of this truck by myself. So it's not because it was heavy, it's just bulky. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. You might wanna ask that. They don't all come like that, especially if they're smaller, but that's something you might wanna find out in case you can't get an 18 wheeler in where you live. This high tunnel has far, far exceeded my expectations already. It's just, things are just growing in here like crazy. Flowers, tomatoes, peppers, all the early stuff grew in here really well. I'm just, I'm thrilled with it. Really, really liking these Lemon Boy tomatoes. These are from Johnny Seed. Um, just wanted to give them a try. And then after I bought them, I've been seeing them kind of everywhere. A lot of people are trying them this year they're they're a winner in my book they are growing beautiful unblemished tomatoes so anyway they taste good too let's get this shade cloth on well that, these come with grommets and thing but this was measured and made specifically for this one so if you've uh if you've got a high tunnel a greenhouse or whatever and give them the dimensions of what you're working on they will put this band on the end of it ribbon and makes it so much stronger with the grommets just like a uh, tarp it'll hold up a whole lot better one thing i've learned among many in farming and homesteading is the saying you get what you pay for really does ring true we've had to buy cheap things before because that's just where we were at in life and they did for the time but then we had to go back and replace them with something better you know, when something's gonna sit out in the sun day after day after day the bowling sun that's gonna take a toll on it so the fact that this looks and feels higher quality um, i have hopes that this is gonna hold up pretty well you got ribbon running this way it's gonna unfold this way so do you have any ribbon running this way dad no he doesn't so it's all at that end yeah, that's what she's is. saying. Are y'all the three stooges? He thinks he knows. He thinks he's the boss. Right, <laughs> he told me I wasn't He told you you weren't what? Right. And were you? <gasps> They haven't seen y'all on here in a while. Y'all want to say hi? Hola, senoritas. Lane got engaged. You did get engaged. How do you feel about that? Engaged. 
<laughs> feel pretty awesome? Yeah, she's pretty great. Yeah, she is pretty great. How do you feel about it, Dem? I love her. Me too. Prepare the water bottle. Lane is throwing the grenade. It went. I'm the supervisor here. Oh, you are. Here she goes. I sure don't fold. Don't be fooled, I'm the boss. <laughs> The supervisor is on the job. I think we had to employ a third water bottle. Ma'am, how's the employees doing? Huh? They've got you working? Yeah. Say again. The supervisor's not supposed to work. Who told you that? My supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Yo, we have a leg. Yeah. Whoop. That's crazy how much shade it makes. It really is amazing how it's just okay. immediately oh. takes the sun and the heat of the sun off of you when you're in here. All right, we gotta get this secured. You can see these little projects didn't really take hardly any time, but hopefully they're gonna be very beneficial. I wanna show you guys one more thing, one more hack that Ben saw. We're gonna give it a try. This could be revolutionary. We're gonna try it. We've got aphids on our tomato plants and trying to grow as organically and naturally as possible. We're not certified organic, but we're eating these things. So we want them to be as healthy as possible. And we're gonna try something that does not involve chemicals. A lint roller. This is sticky paper. And the hack we saw is to take this, roll it on your tomato plant to get the aphids off. So this could be like the black light for the tomato hornworms. We'll see. This could be like life changing or it could be a flop. So let's give it a go. Okay. So you can see this plant, it's got, it's got some problems. It's got some aphids. Um, we're just gonna rub this around. Okay, look how many this is getting off. It is working. Okay, just my honest thoughts as I'm doing this. This is like working crazy good. But I already can tell you, I don't know if I have the patience to do this whole... What has this been, 50 foot? No, it's 100. 100 foot. Don't know that I've got the patience to do 100 foot of this. But if you have a small backyard garden. Yeah, Ben was mentioning if you have a small garden, like that's what I was thinking, if you have a tomato plant or two, especially in a pot on a patio, this actually is working like crazy. I'm just rubbing this around and they're kind of just clinging to it. I'm gonna say this hack is pretty successful. Look at every, all of them that you picked up. This is super dirty. Um, I'm going to say that hack, if you have a small raised bed garden, you know, four or five, six plants, I would definitely do this on that many. One more thing we got to make this uh, high tunnel as successful as possible also came from Grower Solution. Ben is going to tell you a little bit about it. He just hooked it up and we are about to start using this thing. So I don't know how much I'm going to actually tell you about it. I've just got it plumbed in there. All it is is it's a uh, injector pump that this little piece coming in the bottom will go down in a clean five gallon bucket not this one but it'll go down in a clean one we will mix fertilize and water in here we can open this valve and the water will flow through here pulling some fertilize up this tube into this injector out and we'll go through our drip tape system so this will inject just a small amount of fertilize continuously through there but if you ever put one of these in something you, you do want to think about is this is a piece of equipment a lot of this you're not going to want to leave out here all the time especially during the winter so i put some unions in here to be able to break them loose and just pull this thing straight out same thing up here 
we'll probably pull a lot of this out. I've got a union here. I may end up just pulling this whole setup out and uh, that way nothing freezes and busts during the winter. Great explanation. Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell them bye? One more thing I didn't say. So if you don't want to use this, I also put a bypass in. So you can, right now we're not using it because of course you can see there's no fertilizer. We've got the valves shut off on in and outlet of it and we're running on bypass just putting water down the rows.